All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Paycheck to Daycheck podcast. 563 days ago, August 9th, 2022, was our very first episode of the Paycheck to Daycheck podcast. So since then, we have published, this will be 120 episodes. We've had 13 amazing guests. Our podcast reached 115,560 downloads. The podcast was listened to in 99 countries, 4,989 cities. Our YouTube channel has reached over 1,300 subscribers and an additional 56,000 views on YouTube. Our private Facebook group has reached 337 amazing members. And I'd say that this podcast definitely was a success, but this is going to be the final episode. Yes. So it is going to be our last episode. Liz and I have decided to end the podcast for a couple of different reasons. Number one, um, and I'm going to try to get through this without my voice cracking or crying, but uh, we both have very specific directions that we want to take our businesses in the next year and specific visions that go along with that. And we both need to dedicate more time to that part of our lives, to our businesses. And this, you know, it might not seem like it if you've never done a podcast or a YouTube channel or something like that. It does take a considerable amount of time. And Liz, we we haven't really talked a lot about like the back end of how all of this works, but Liz edits every single and publishes every single episode that we put out. That's very time consuming. The second thing is that we both feel that we're at a point where we would need to significantly up level our content and our offerings to you guys in order to keep providing like a level of value that we feel responsible for providing to you and the community in exchange for your time. And again, the the time that we have available to us, it just isn't there for us to be able to make that possible right now. After countless hours of thinking about it, discussing it with each other, we've decided that we just, again, we don't have the time available to us to move forward in that direction. So that's why we're here. And it's interesting because when I was thinking about this last episode, it made me think of a book that I read to my kindergarten students. And it was this book I had to write it down because I'm like, I'll forget what it was because it's been a while since I've been a teacher. But it's We Are in a Book by Mo Williams. And it's the two characters are Gerald the Elephant and Piggy the Pig in the book. And they realize that somebody's watching them and they realize that there's readers. And then the book becomes interactive. And, you know, they're like, watch, I can make the reader laugh. And it's such a cute kid's book. But at the end, they start freaking out because they're like, wait, the book ends? I don't want the book to end. So then they realize I can make the book not end because I can tell the reader to read us again. And it just really made me think about the podcast. All of you guys listening to us, you probably listen to us on your way to work. Maybe you're working out at the gym. Maybe while you're listing your money pile, you're listening to us. But yes, the podcast is ending, but everybody's reselling journey is not. And I think that's what you know we should focus on in this episode is just, yes, we're ending, but let's celebrate all the different successes. And, you know, at the end, we're going to share some of the things that we took away from doing this podcast. Yeah. So just a couple of like housekeeping things before we get into that. We have decided to leave the videos and the episodes up on the various platforms that they're on until the end of this year. So if you did want to go back and re-listen to something, or if someone new finds you know, the podcast, they're going to be up until the end of 2024. And we do feel like the content that we've provided is useful in helping to start and grow a reselling business. So hopefully if anyone new finds us, that will help them get started in their business. Um, as far as our Facebook group goes, we want to give all the current members time to connect with each other, ask any remaining questions that they might have. But at this point, we will not be accepting any mo- new members since we will be closing the group. Um, and I think we decided on in like 30 days, we'll end up mm-hmm. closing that group. We also you know, wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who has taken the time out of your lives to listen to us or watch us on YouTube, leave a review, a comment, um, a like on our Instagram, you know, 
anything, joined the Facebook group, participated in that. We have really sincerely loved connecting with all of you throughout this journey. And I just want you guys to know that this was definitely not an easy decision. We really went back and forth on it. It is hard to um, like create something from nothing and then close that and have it come to an end. And, you know, that's probably the biggest part that I struggled with is that we built this from nothing. It was just an idea that we had and every single part and piece of this was built by us. And it's hard to let something like that go, but that's also not a reason to hang on to something either. You know, if it's, if it's time to move on from it. Yeah, definitely did not come easily. (laughs) Now that we got all the hard stuff out of the way, we, like Liz said, we wanted to take some time and kind of end everything on a lighter note, talk about our favorite episodes, our the lessons that we learned, and all of the value that the podcast brought to us. All right, I'll go first. Um, so my favorite thing about the podcast was getting to do it with Ashley. So I didn't put it on our script, so you're not going to know what I'm going to say. But Ashley, and I'll try to get through it without crying, I should have gotten some tissues. <laughs> all right i gotta contain myself all right we had to take a break because i obviously should never do public speaking where i have to talk about anything that's sentimental to me ashley thank you so much for doing this podcast with me trusting and believing me to build something into something very positive for this reselling community i know we both wanted to build it more but that's why i think we made the best team Uh, We are honest, real, and we know when it's time to close a chapter. I will always look back at this with gratitude for you, but I'm excited to see what happens beyond the the podcast because I know, you know, this was just part of our journey with our friendship. And it's so crazy because we, the internet is wild. Like we did something, created something, and we have never met in person. That is the power of the internet. And it's so wild how two people who never knew each other, would we have ever crossed paths? I mean, you, we live on complete opposite sides of the earth. You know, you're in yep. New York, I'm in Arizona. And it's just, I think I'm thankful, honestly, for the the leads group and for that being something that brought us together. So that chapter closed, then we had the podcast, and now it's time to close that chapter. So thank you so much. And that's definitely my favorite thing about the podcast was doing it with Ashley. Also getting to create a reselling community with her. I mean, our vision when we first threw out ideas, we're like, do we do a leads group? Do we just do a YouTube channel? Do we do one-on-one coaching? There's so many options on what value you can provide to the reselling community. And we thought the podcast would be perfect. I don't know if we knew how it was going to end up, but I think what we created was exactly what we envisioned. Everybody's been so positive. It's so refreshing that we have brought all of these amazing resellers together in the day checker community and it silenced some of the noise that's out there on social media. And I think that was pretty much one of our end goals. So I think doing it with Ashley and also what we've created and being able to bring other resellers together. All right. So obviously, uh, we're really on the same page because so my favorite part has been having the opportunity to work on a project like this with Liz. And it has honestly been life changing. And I'm going to try to stress this as best I can. For many, many years, even before I was a reseller, I've always wanted to put something out into the world like this that would bring value to other people and kind of leave like a little mark in a helpful way. And uh, Liz has been the one that has made that possible. So without her, (laughs) without her, the podcast would not exist. I can promise you that. We balance each other out. And I think that if you are someone that is also wanting to start a project or a business with someone, uh, it's really important to find someone that compliments you and your strengths and your weaknesses, which she has done perfectly this entire time. It has been a pleasure working with her. And this is an experience that I will cherish for the rest of my life. The podcast has made me realize that we are far more capable than we think we are as humans. Um, And that's kind of a lesson that you need to learn through doing something. It's not something that someone can just tell you and that you just believe in. You have to learn it for yourself. So 
Liz, thank you for making one of the, you know, dreams that I had and goals that I had for my life a reality because I am very certain that I never would have done it if it weren't for you. Oh man, the people on YouTube are going to be like, oh Jesus, <laughs> pull it together, girls. I definitely knew this was going to be a hard episode, but man, this has been a struggle throughout it. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're like, man, I just want to reach over and give a Kleenex to these poor girls that are pouring their hearts <laughs> out. All right. Next thing about the podcast, uh, my favorite episodes were the guest episodes and um, mainly because I did not have to hear my own voice. Like Ashley mentioned, I edited everything. So I like constantly had to hear my own voice. Really, I feel like with guest episodes, there's so much value in listening to somebody else's story, uh, especially in the reselling community. I feel like that's truly how you learn and you grow is by hearing what other people go through, their experiences, kind of collaborating with each other. And I feel confident that, you know, we brought very, very good guests to the podcast. What did we say? We had 13 podcast guests and each one of them was so different. I think that's the best thing about reselling is that everyone is on a different journey. And there's so many ways that you can resell, but you know, hopefully you listening, you listen to one of those guests and it really was like that aha moment. Maybe it was Ken with the Legos. You're thinking, man, I'm going to be the, the next Lego master. Uh, Jen from Thrift to Travel, she's been traveling. I saw she was just in what the Bahamas or somewhere yeah, and so. she was going to different pharmacies. She was finding like these, you know, gems out there. And maybe that's inspired you when you go on vacation to yeah, you're on vacation to relax, but maybe you're going to pop into a couple places and see exactly what you can find. So hopefully the guests brought you guys as much value as they brought us. So yeah, I feel like that was, uh, those were my favorite episodes. Again, we are very clearly on the same page here because mine were also the guest episodes. Um, I really love learning about other people's businesses and how they run things and learning about different niches. Um, and I really enjoyed learning about like more about how to interview people. Ashley Hines Revive Tribe has been a longtime friend of mine in the reselling community. So it was a pleasure having her on twice. I really enjoyed speaking with her about her businesses. She's just a wealth of information and someone that I feel anyone in this community could look up to and gain value from. So if you haven't listened to her episodes, definitely check those out for sure. That being said, we are so thankful for all of our guests that took the time to spend with us and relay the information that they had to our, our community. It was really a pleasure getting to know all of you. All right. My last thing with the podcast, um, I wanted to share kind of what the podcast doing the podcast taught me. I feel like it's never late to start something. Uh, but like anything, it's going to take a lot of research a lot of time, a lot of effort. Podcasting, it's not just hitting the, re the recording button. If you sat in on any of our podcasts, you would realize that we stopped probably 10 times. Uh, whether we're, one of us uh, needs to take a drink, somebody coughs, we lose our train of thought. That happens so many times in the podcast where I'd be like, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I am just rambling. Okay, maybe we want to cut that part out. <laughs> There was a lot of bloopers. Um, I would say Birdie made an appearance quite a bit. Quite a uh, bit. She was always popping up in the background. I'd be watching Ashley's screen and like she'd go by in the background and I'd be like, oh, there's Birdie, you know, so. Or my dog's barking. Maybe the UPS man was here and my dogs are going nuts. So yeah, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I wouldn't take it back for anything. I loved what we did and the podcast just, it taught me so much. Um, I feel also it helped our reselling business. Not only did I get to learn a lot more stuff from Ashley outside of, you know, our accountability, being accountability partners in that leads group, I learned a lot of information because for some of the episodes, you know, we had to look up stuff we didn't know because there's just so much to know about reselling. And so it took us going in, you know, maybe to the eBay help section and researching some of the things that we're going to need to know to tell you guys, because we don't ever want to tell you guys false information. So by doing that, it really, I feel like I'm much more knowledgeable with certain things with reselling. Um, it did take a lot of information for the episodes. Not only did we learn from each other, we learned from the group members too, by having the day checkers reselling community on Facebook 
people ask questions and I'm like, that's a great question. I don't even know that answer. And then I would research it and try to figure it out for them. But all of that is truly a good thing to do to grow a reselling business because you don't want to, we've said it before, you don't want to just list something and leave it. Like there really is in order to grow, you need to learn and then apply it. So those were some of the takeaways that I had from the podcast. I agree with that fully. You know, one thing going into this that was really important to me, well, there's two things. The first thing was to provide value with every single episode because I know how valuable everyone's time is. And I personally hate when my time is wasted. So if we are going to ask for your time, then in exchange for that, we had to provide a level of value that I thought was um, like worth worth the exchange. And uh, the second thing was making sure that, like Liz mentioned, that the information that we put out to you guys was not only valuable, but also accurate because we found that there was so much misinformation in the reselling community. It's very hard to um, know who to trust, especially if you're new. You know, someone might be putting out information that's completely completely inaccurate or outdated and but they have a good vibe and they seem to know what they're talking about they're very confident and the level of production of their reels might be you know amazing but just because they're producing these like high level high quality reels and like graphics and stuff it doesn't mean that what they're telling you is um is true or factual or whatever. So we wanted to really make sure that like Liz said, that if we didn't know something, we wouldn't just make something up or leave you hanging. We tried to always make sure that if we didn't know a hundred percent what the answer was to a question, or if there was a segment of one of our shows that we needed to do a little bit more research on to feel knowledgeable enough to produce that episode that we did that research. And that was definitely, um, something that I enjoyed doing. I really feel that was, you know, one of the biggest responsibilities in putting something out there to you guys was making sure that we provided the value and making sure that it was factual, true, real information for you. So I hope that you feel we accomplished that as well. We have really enjoyed doing this. It's been something to look forward to every single Tuesday when we record. And then, you know, when the episodes come out, we love like watching the views climb and the comments that we get on YouTube and everything. It's been a a true joy. So I hope that you guys received the value that we feel that we put out for you. And um, again, you know, this might not be the last thing. It might be the last thing that we do. It's definitely going to be the last podcast episode. Who knows what the future brings, but you know, just because something is ending, don't be afraid to start something even though we didn't know what the future was going to hold for the podcast or how long it was going to go on for, or if that was going to morph into something in the future. And it might still years from now, we, we don't know, but you, you can't let that stop you from doing something that you want to do right now. So that's definitely a huge lesson that I learned. All right. So before we end the final episode, let's talk about once the podcast, social media accounts are down. We want to make sure that you guys still are able to contact us and communicate with us on social media. So we want to share where to follow us on social media for myself. Freeway Flippers is a good place. Uh, We have an Instagram and a YouTube, which Casey and I have some exciting, fun, new reselling content coming. And I will give you one hint, golf clubs. And that's all I'm going to say. So if you are intrigued, make sure you are going to follow our journey because it's going to be a good one. If you um, want to follow along on my reselling journey, uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's Flippin New York. Uh, I'll spell out no G on the end of flipping. <laughs> and then New York is spelled out, of course. And that's where I spend most of my time on social media. So that's probably the best place to, to follow along. I'll leave all the links to our personal social medias in the description or show notes down below. So once again, thank you everyone who is listening to the podcast, has supported it. Ashley, thank you for doing this crazy podcasting journey with me. It has been a pleasure. I have enjoyed doing it. It's been so much fun. Thank you everyone who is listening, has listened. We appreciate you guys as well. And if there's any advice we could give you is keep working towards that day check.